Okay, hey guys, uh, Mike at tabletbuy.com and we're here with the third and last part of our video review for the Asus iPad Transformer Prime. And in this uh, final part we're going to talk about battery life, about prices and a couple of these uh, tiny aspects that make uh, a, di a, a good pick or a bad pick this, uh, this kind of, uh, of devices. Uh, we also had previous two parts of the review in the first we took, a look, uh, we took a look at the exterior, at the construction and at the docking station and in this part, uh, in the second, we, we spoke about the hardware, the platform and performances. Also showed a couple of applications, a couple of games, so you should check out those if you want details on those particular aspects. For now, we're just going to talk about battery life. It's pretty much same bat uh, battery inside this one as it was on the previous generation transformer uh, and uh, well, on the previous transformer we got like 8 hours of life on average. On this it really depends on what you're going to do. You're going to get from 7 to 11, maybe 12 hours of life based on your activities. And um, I already show you that, showed you that you have this power mode, you have power saving and you have normal speed mode. And um, battery life uh, really varies that much because uh, uh, not uh, that many applications available right now are actually um, uh, optimized for Tegra 3. So uh, in order to get an increased battery life, Tegra 3 only needs to use some of its core. If more cores get uh, uh, turned on, uh, it's going to eat more of the battery life. And also, if uh, more cores run at a higher clock frequency, they automatically eat uh, more energy because they need a higher voltage and also need uh, also will eat your battery life uh, faster. So, a couple of scenarios. I didn't have the time to test that many because I don't have this tablet for, for long. But uh, a, a couple of scenarios I've tested on daily average use, listening to some music, browsing, and using the screen at about 50%, which is like this, uh, you will get about 8 to 9 hours of life, which is actually good. It's not uh, as good as on the iPad, but it's uh, an hour or so over the previous generation transformer. And you should consider that on this tablet, uh, if you're using it inside, 50% screen brightness is more than enough. It's going to be uh, enough for pretty much all all, uh, all conditions. Even during daytime, if you're using it inside your house, that's going to be enough. Uh, you're only going to go higher if you're going to, if you need to go outside or in a very, very uh, bright room. And you also have the super IPS mode if you're going to use it outside which offers increased brightness but also its battery life a, a very very fast uh, okay so this is one aspect you should know and the other aspect is that between this uh, power modes here you get like an hour of difference so from normal speed mode to echo mode there is an, an extra hour of battery life for echo mode so, however on echo mode the device does run uh, more sluggish so I only advise you to use echo mode if you're using just a couple of apps losing using it lightly for some browsing for some reading then it's definitely a good uh, good idea to use echo mode otherwise I personally prefer normal mode because I really like the fact that this device is speedier. This is something I've been missing on my transformer, my first generation transformer. The speed, the, speed, the, the smoothness that you get on the iPad and uh, on the Tegra 3 uh, you get a hint of this, uh, of this speed. Despite the fact that uh, Android Honeycomb still has a bunch of lags and it's not optimized for Tegra 3. Uh, okay, with the docking station connected, actually no, let me tell you a couple of other things. Another scenario I've tested is running 720p HD content uh, with the standard video def uh, player. I was running an MKV 720p player uh, clip um, and uh, with screen once again at 50% and wireless off and I got 11 plus hours of life which is uh, once again excellent and it's uh, actually on par with the iPad compared to the previous uh, generation transformer well it's uh, it's not something you can actually compare it with because 720p MKV on the first transformer wasn't actually running smoothly like it is on this one so for SD for uh, HD uh, video content playing this is a great tool and uh, you get that uh, that long battery life because 
the device uh, is actually uh, the platform Tegra 3 is actually optimized to run uh, H.264 video content. So only one core is actually running when uh, when playing such uh, such types of content. Um, you also have the the docking station. Uh, together with it, uh, Nvidia says 18 hours of life on average. I didn't quite manage to get that uh, that long, and uh, in my in my tests, which still uh, I don't know, this is an early unit, so they might different uh, a bit on the final retail version of the Prime. I get like 14 hours of life with the docking station in Echo mode and like 12 and a half. 13 in normal mode for daily everyday use which includes like I said a little bit of browsing a little bit of watching some movies a bit of listening to songs so pretty much the things you do on average uh, even running some games but only a few games for that you get like 13 to 14 hours of life and if you want video playing you're going to get actually 15 plus plus hours of life with uh, with the docking station and the Transformer uh, Prime tablet. So this is actually actually very very good. I would say it's a massive improvement over the the first generation Transformer, and uh, I expect actually battery life to get better with the Android uh, 4.0 on this uh, on this uh, tablet and uh, with uh, more apps that are optimized to use the four cores inside the Tegra 3 available and that should happen in like a couple of months I'd say by early spring you will have a more mature system running uh, on uh, on Tegra 3 platform and there will be a bunch of different tablets you can choose from I'm not saying that this is bad of course this is definitely one of the best tablets I've ever seen and if you uh, were only talking about Android tablets I would buy this for sure it's better than everything I've ever uh, ever tested and I've pretty much tested all of them uh, in uh, in this uh, last year okay so those were pretty much the things I wanted to tell you about the battery life now I should also speak about speakers a little bit and it's only one speaker on this one I have a couple of tracks here and let's play this one it's Imagine by Beatles so you only have one speaker It's pretty loud, but um, there's no stereo sound. And the speaker is placed here on the right. And if you're going to grab the tablet like this, you're going to muff the, the speaker and sound is going to be distortioned a bit. This is when covering the speaker. And this is when it's, it's not covered. Okay, so uh, the speaker is okay. It's decently loud I'd say enough to cover the average uh, average room average condition but it's not uh, it's not as good as on the previous generation I'd say because you no longer have stereo speakers you only have one speaker over here to the right it's like uh, Apple has on their iPad and I'm pretty sure I don't know why but it really looks like uh, Asus copied that uh, with their transformer prime uh, last thing I should add uh, is about prices. Right now the Transformer Prime is available for pre-orders and it will ship in just a couple of, uh, of uh, days. Asus says they will have it in uh, late December uh, 2011 uh, in, in stores. Some of you already pre-ordered this a couple of weeks ago. They will deliver it uh, this year. This, that's why they say it's $4.99 for the base version of the Transformer Prime which comes which comes with 32 GB of, of storage and uh, 599 for the one with 64 GB of storage unfortunately there's no cheaper 16 GB version which is kind of a bummer because um, since this one uh, can get a, a micro SD card you could have easily gotten the 16 version 16 GB version of the tablet and then put a 32 GB SD card in there and get way uh, more battery life, a bit cheaper. However, they decided they should start with uh, with only the 32 gigabyte version for 4.99, so pretty much on par with the iPad in terms of price. This, uh, I don't know if it's a fair price or not. I will tell you 
that uh, it depends and uh, still this tablet is for sure faster and better than everything I've ever seen with Android uh, by, uh, by now and uh, based only on that that's for sure a good buy if it's worth 499 or not or if it's a better value product than the previous transformer which right now goes for way starts way below 400 i would say about 379 online maybe even less in some stores if that's uh, if uh, you should get one or the other that's up to you to decide still i find it a 499 it's a good price for such a device but uh, I expected I expected to drop probably in the future and expect more Tegra 3 devices to be available on the market with a lower price point of course with this you, ha you have the screen which is excellent uh, not just the platform you have the nice body it's lightweight so 499 I think it's it's a good price um, the docking station it's available extra you have to pay 149 for that so 150 bucks extra for uh, for the docking station and it, has, it got you a couple of extra ports and of course it gets you the um, the keyboard and the extended battery together they go for like 15 hours of life at least from what i've uh, what i've tested asus says 18 hours couldn't quite get over here but who knows probably in the future you might get still 15 hours of life it's a lot definitely better than other tablets can offer these days okay so this pretty much wraps our video review for the asus ePad transformer we also have a couple of other clips on uh, on youtube on the youtube channel and i'm sp going to uh, address mainly some aspects of the tablet like browsing like using a stylus pen on it and uh, also have a review for the docking station a separate review only for the docking station Perhaps you should check those as well if you're interesting. Uh, as a wrap up, um, I'm, this is still an early prototype like I said. It's not the final release unit, has a couple of hiccups. Uh, Android still gets a bit sluggish if you're running multiple app, uh, apps, so multitasking is still a problem on, uh, on Honeycomb despite having the more, uh, the more powerful uh, platform, hardware platform. Um, still, I would say the experience is definitely better on uh, on the Prime than on any of the other uh, Honeycomb tablets I've tested uh, in this uh, last year. Uh, overall, the uh, it's easier to surf between applications, to open applications, and to perform different different tasks. The tablet works smoother, and this is something you're definitely going to love. Uh, one thing you're not going to love that much is the fact that still there are bugs sometimes applications crash and there's no reason for that and uh, there's still hiccups I don't know, the browser is not a lot better it's not faster overall the entire uh, architecture is pretty much similar to honeycomb and if you if you're aware of the limitations honeycomb has uh, you're going to find it still here but like I said Android 4.0 is going to come in just a couple of months and if you buy this with, honey, with Honeycomb you will get free upgrade to Ice Cream Sandwich uh, once it becomes available one final thing it's the market this is a long story but you probably know that you don't have all that many useful applications on the market for instance for me uh, which I'm a social media uh, user I don't have a a proper Twitter or proper Facebook application that will uh, will use the entire working area of, of a tablet with with Android. Uh, while on the iPad, I do have this, but this is a longer story, so I'm not going to get into this. Everyone is entitled to choose between one or two Android or iPad right now, because there are no viable uh, other solutions. Still, for Android tablets, for me at least, this is the best I've seen so far. And uh, if I were to buy a device with uh, a tablet with Android right now, that's the one I would get. Despite being a bit more expensive, the whole experience and uh, the whole body, the whole package does feel uh, way better with the Transformer Prime than with all the other uh, Android uh, slates I've seen uh, so far. Okay, that pretty much wraps it up. More details are available in the other clips here on Gadget JM YouTube channel, and of course on uh, on the site on tabletbuy.com when I'm going to post the written review with a couple of more 
information about each of the particular aspects of this tablet. Thanks for now, Mike uh, tabletby.com with the Asus E-Pad uh, Transformer Prime. And of course don't forget if you like our work please subscribe and please share our clips and press thumbs up. Thank you.